Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I want to talk about how Windows users must upgrade to Internet Explorer 11 to stay secure. Now I apologize that I'm talking about Microsoft patch and security related issues two days in a row. However, there's one aspect of patch day I failed to remind you about yesterday, and today I learned of new information that has further implications. If you regularly watch my video, you might remember early in December I warned you that Microsoft was going to end of life all versions of Internet Explorer except for 11. Now that they have the Edge browser, they will only release security updates for Internet Explorer 11. Now, maybe you're one of the people out there that was thinking, oh, I prefer Chrome or Firefox or another browser, so I'll just uninstall the old version of Internet Explorer and continue to use those other browsers. Now, the problem is operating systems are complex animals. When you install something like Internet Explorer, there's additional components, dynamic link libraries, that might be installed and might be used by your operating system by other components as well. It sounds like if you uninstall an older version of Internet Explorer, it might still leave these older versions of these Windows components on your system. And these older versions are technically part of Internet Explorer, and they will remain insecure because they won't be patched. So even if you don't plan on using Internet Explorer at all, the only secure way to make sure that all the components get updated is for you to specifically upgrade to Internet Explorer 11 and then uninstall Internet Explorer 11. So just to be clear, if you're a Windows user and you want to stay safe while browsing, you have two options. If you're okay with sticking with Microsoft browsers, you absolutely need to upgrade to at least Internet Explorer 11 or go ahead and move on to the new Edge browser. If you don't like Microsoft browsers, you still need to upgrade to Internet Explorer 11, even if you plan on removing it and using Chrome or Firefox or some sort of alternate browser. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.